He is bawling because of colic. Don't reach for the medicine bottle or the earplugs. Reach for the needle. The acupuncture needle. That's what the journal Acupuncture in Medicine seems to be suggesting on the basis of its own study. I am joined by Dr Mike Cummings, who is one of the associate editors of Acupuncture in Medicine. He's also medical director of the British Medical Acupuncture Society. And uh, also here in the studio, Professor David Colloon, who is the pharmacologist at uh, University College London. Um, Dr Cummings, are you saying or is this study and it's a pretty small one isn't it is it saying that you can cure you can stop colic with acupuncture uh good morning john good thank morning. you for having me um uh, this is the biggest uh, the biggest study in this in this area to date. It is small, of course. There's very limited funding for these type of studies. With it's a very tentative suggestion that acupuncture might play a role. It's certainly not a definitive study, and technically, in technical terms, the study is negative. The uh, what's that mean? The primary outcome. That means well, the primary outcome you you pre-specify what you're measuring, and the primary outcome in terms of which particular measure of crying um, didn't actually turn out to be statistically significant. Oh, Although, so it doesn't work? Uh, well, no, you can't say it doesn't work from a single trial like this. There are four... There's about four trials been done in this area, and we're waiting for them, all the results, to be added, added up in a, in a review... Right. ..to see. The trouble with small trials, John, is that um, they very... they very rarely give you definitive answers. This is merely a suggestion that it might be useful. Ah, and, and, and Professor Colquhoun, you're, you're concerned that it's been published under the auspices of the BMJ? Yes, it's, it's rather absurd that the BMJ, which is a very good journal, very uh, hot on evidence, Fiona Godley, the editor, uh, has done great work for that, but this is not the BMJ, this is those published by the BMJ Press, and uh, it's, it's uh, devoted to a single form of alternative medicine. It, it really is... Uh, quite worrying that they should uh, pu publish such a journal because the statistical standards of this paper were appalling. I'm glad, I'm glad Cummings does admit that it doesn't actually show anything because that's quite clearly the case. But, but it's your view, is it, that acupuncture is bogus medicine? Absolutely, yes. I mean, there have been 3,500 trials, some of which have been very good. And... You, you mean know, the you trials have been very good, not the outcomes? The, the trials have been uh. well conducted, yes. Uh. And, and people are still arguing about it, you know. If you can imagine you had a, a pill for flu, Tamiflu or something, and there were 3,500 trials and there's still no definitive outcome, people would say, forget it. Uh. But, beca but because this, this alternative medicine lobby is rather strong and because the public get interested and keep putting it on the Today programme. <laughs> well, no, I can't remember the last time we talked about it. But anyway, Dr Cummings, what do you make of that? Well, to be fair, I mean, um, it is difficult to show... It is difficult to show in the modern standards the difference between needling and needling. In acupuncture studies, in the best quality acupuncture studies, what do you do in the control group? In general, you stick needles in. You know, you try not to do it properly... Um, so it's, it's needling against needling, and there is a difference. The biggest data sets show a clear difference. It's a small difference between needling and needling. But surely what you, you should be checking, and I'm, I'm obviously not an expert in these things, but surely what you should be checking is needling versus, um, for want of a better word, conventional medicine, a pill. Oh, yes. No, we, there are plenty of studies uh, comparing acupuncture with conventional medicine, but, but the sceptics, such as the professor, um, don't <laughs> allow those comparisons. Of course we do. Because, <laughs> uh, well, no, a nice don't allow those comparisons. Um, they want to see the difference of acupuncture against sham acupuncture, which is needling against needling. And those differences are clear statistically, but they're very small. And nice say, well, they're too small for us to be interested. I mean, I think so why the don't recent... you do bigger ones? Uh, well, because of funding. It's very difficult to get funding for acupuncture trials. There are very few uh, funders interested in doing those trials, so it's, it's quite competitive to try and get um, uh, funding from governments, right. for so, example. So, so given that, Professor Colquhoun, sh shouldn't we at least be open-minded... Because there are clearly there are people out there, many people out there who believe acupuncture does has worked for them. Well, you know, any good parent when their kid is crying, they 
what what's the first thing they think of? Well, shut the bedroom engine. door, maybe. <laughs> oh, come on. You know, this, is, this, is the, this is the 21st century. Uh, it, it's been disproved uh, some time ago. And but, uh, but are you, uh, as you were described, uh, are, are you a sceptic w- as far as acupuncture is concerned? Or indeed, all alternative medicines are concerned. Yes, I am, because the, re- the reason they're called alternative is because there's no evidence for them. <laughs> you know, it, it just occasionally a good thing will turn up, like the Chinese herb that contained something which was good for malaria. But, of course, that, uh, that artemisinin is purified and it ceases being alternative. It just becomes part of medicine. So when it's called alternative, it essentially means that there's no evidence, no good evidence. OK, quick sentence on that, Dr Cummings. <laughs> Well, um, you'd, you'd expect the professor of pharmacology to be into medicines, but medicines aren't always the answer. Um, you I know, agree. we do have, you know, medicines, particularly, for example, non steroidal anti inflammatories, have serious side effects, and acupuncture has a potential role to play in, in pain, musculoskeletal well, pain. Uh, there you are, thank How you. How about both. cuddling the baby? <laughs> How about cuddling the baby was Professor Calhoun's last thought there, in case you well, didn't hear it. Well, that was the you. control group. <laughs> well, indeed. Thank you both very much, David Calhoun and Mike Cummings. Thanks. The argument to everything, the answer to everything. <laughs> nine minutes past, nine minutes past, nine minutes to nine. We're not there yet.